Welcome, welcome back, everybody. So this is my China mail. It came in a few days ago. Extremely beat, to cr beat, beat up. But I don't care how much the box is beaten up. As long as everything is inside, it's good. So this was order off AliExpress. I have my notes for two of them because I don't know which one this is because I have two of them that are outstanding that I have not received yet. So I do believe I ordered these at the same, on the same, yes, I ordered these on the same day. So I ordered these back in April, April 24th. And I just received it um, this last week. I think I re got it on Wednesday this last Wednesday and today is um, Friday July 10th so I received it on the 8th 7th 8th 9th 8th 8th okay make up your mind so we're gonna open this up it is a square box lots and lots of tape Like I said, very beat up. It has been in shipment for quite a while. I don't care how it looks as long as everything inside is okay. So this is a surprise for, for you and a surprise for myself. Because I don't know which one this says. Box is empty and stinks like glue. <gasps> Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. They did that too. But anyways, two drill kits. You got your boat, you got your wax, you got your tweezers, angle tweezers, cheap ones, baggies, no multi-placer. This came just like the other one. All our drills, one bag, two bags. Comes with the inventory sheet. There's our picture. I'll insert the picture in the video. It's those mosaic mask. It's the other one. I don't know if you saw the other one that I did the unboxing for came the same way they folded it in half they rolled it they folded it in half and they rolled it so I bet you I'm gonna have to repair this one too see it's folded in half look at that fold right down the center no bueno no bueno it's an 80 by 60. Look at that. And the last company that did this, I did send them a message. They said they had to fold it in half because of the size and the size of the mail restrictions. I was like, okay. Um, I've ordered since then, since I've ordered this one, I did order a, um, a couple other ones that came from China and they came rolled. So they said they were having their, their, their mailings restricted down to 60 centimeters. Well, if they just roll it the right way, it is an 80 by 60. You don't have to roll it this way. This way is 80 and this way is 60. Just roll it. Put it in the box. I bet you it fits. It just pisses me off. Sorry for the language, but. Okay, this is labeled sexy mask, 60 by 80, square. It's by Red Apple off of AliExpress, it's the official store. 
It costs thirty five dollars and three cents. Um, free shipping. There was tax, so it was total thirty seven seventy five. Ordered on April twenty fourth, and I received it July eighth. So just shy of three months. Sorry, I'm just being a little quiet because it just irritates me. Right there in the first corner, a river. I don't know if you can see that or not. So this is two-sided tape. When you peel this back, you gotta be careful. Night, you gotta do it slow or you're gonna cause more rivers. You can cause the uh, two-sided tape to actually come off the canvas. I just wanna pull it back to the center and show you how bad this is. The other one I have, I did fix it. It did take a little bit of time, but I did get it fixed. Yeah, right there, it's coming. The two-sided tape is actually coming off the canvas right here and right here. Just before they folded it. And all in the center where that fold is, all the sticky is actually came off the canvas. God, you can, it's really strong smelling in the glue too. Oof. All right here, all this. All this whole area right here is actually the adhesive is off the canvas. Well, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna lift this. I'm gonna zoom you in so we can get a better look. We do have a lot of glare. So you can see in the camera right here, all this is lifted off the canvas. And it's like that throughout this whole space. So, to fix this, <coughs> God, that's strong. So it must have sat in the warehouse or somewhere for a long time. It is very sticky. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. It is very, very sticky. So. What you do is just take your take your knife because you're going to have air under the under there. So you want to just score it lightly. Score it across. You can go several several different ways. Just give it a nice score so when you go to push it back down, it, the air will come out. You may have to do this several, several different times, different ways. If you do it light enough, it's not gonna hurt anything. You just wanna get that air out of there. And you can take your drill pin, or if you have a straightener, or a something that, or I wouldn't say a, a ruler, but something with a flat edge, like this. And you just go from one side and you slightly push down. You want to push that, that sticky back down to the canvas. Got it on my fingernails. And 
see right there. You can't see it, can you? Where do I see that bubble? Oh, right there. Right there's a bubble. So, just score it. And take your scraper. Lightly go over it. Nice and slow. Get it laid back down. So at all so I got all this this one laid back down so this whole area zoom back out it's all right so this whole area in the center probably about this much from top to bottom is going to have to be done like that so you just want to score it get the bubbles out and get something that has a flat edge. You can do a putty knife, um, a plastic putty. I recommend a plastic putty knife. You can get the at your local hardware store. I think Walmart even carries them. And once you score it, get to so the air bubble, air will um, escape, and you just go over it really lightly, and you get the glue to to, to lay back down. And for this crease to come out, what I've done is I will flip it over bottom side up and I'll lay um, some books on it. And I'll just keep moving my books every day and when I come home from work, I'll just keep moving it, keep moving it up and down. And that, cre that fold in the center should come out. Um, if it doesn't, you can um, actually take a towel, put a towel on the canvas, not on the glue side, on the back side. Take your iron, put it on low, low setting, no steam, and go over it. You don't want to heat it up a whole lot, just a little tiny bit, and it should take that wrinkle right out of that center of that canvas. But anyways, um, I really did like this picture. It is very sticky. Don't get me wrong there, it's very sticky. I just gotta work. I'm just gonna have to work with it. Um, so, let me turn the light back on so we can take a look at this drill field. It is a square. Really clear symbols. And I do have another one that's coming, and I hope to God it's not going to be the same way, but I ordered three of them. Two out of the three came this, came this way. Or I actually have, I ordered four. So far, Two out of the three that I received have been like this. I did go to the store today. I got me some parchment paper. Because I have heard that you want to, re if you're going to store this for a certain amount of time, you want to take this opaque paper off and replace it with parchment paper. Not wax paper, parchment paper. Parchment paper. Wax paper has wax, and you don't want to put that on your diamond painting because it will no longer be sticky if you get the paper off. But this works just like the opaque paper, but you can actually see your painting through the parchment paper to where you can't on the opaque paper. And I have heard that the opaque paper over time will start to turn yellow. And the parchment paper is a better alternative for that. So I got two of these today. 
give it a little try. I'm gonna re repair this and I'll probably re replace it with the parchment paper. So I got it, to, it did lay flat, the opaque paper did lay flat on the side. So if it does come with a little wrinkle, you just lift up the opaque paper and you lay it back down. And it'll take some of the wrinkles out of the paper. You want to do it really slow, especially when it's this, when it's this, this, ah, I can't even speak because I'm so mad. When it's this damaged, you want to go slow because you can cause more damage to it. And as you can see on this side, from here, this is where I worked on it already, but from here all the way across, we got rivers. The actually, the two-sided tape is off the canvas. We got an air bubble there. We got air bubbles down here. It's all the way across, all the way. So yeah. You know, I won't be ordering from these guys anymore. At least until after. Next couple years. At least. So over here we have our schematic. Very tiny. I can barely read it. So I will be putting this on the print. Uh, oh, I actually have the, I did come with the inventory sheet. So I will copy the inventory sheet on my printer and I will use those for my labels. And we have, it is, per, it is pretty clear. It's, they're dark. So I may have to use a light pad on this one, but um, I just can't wait to see it done if I can get it fixed. Let me lift this up real quick. So I can get it to lay flat so I can start getting it to, to uh, release some of those creases. River one side to the other, multiple rivers. Right here, you can see that. From here, all the way over, and it goes back all the way over to the center. And this all started from them folding it in half because if it was rolled, it wouldn't, it wouldn't do this. Got it on there straight. But the glue on this is very, very strong. It's really getting through my throat. It's all I can smell right now. This side's not that bad. Just a little river there right here and right there. This side's probably the best section of the whole thing. It's an 80 by 60. I got the larger size just because for the best um, clarity of the picture because of what the picture is. So, see, already, that fold is already starting to come out. But the other picture that I have that they folded like this, it was bad. I actually had to take a ruler. Let me grab this other one. So I might bend my metal ruler. So when it, you have a fold like this,
take something that's going to be and just go right down the center of the fold. Yeah, this one's much better shape than the other one was. The other one actually had, the canvas actually had a fold right here. Do that a little bit. I'll probably do this several more times. Might give it a little iron. That's just from when the opaque paper was come up and it's probably a river because there's an air bubble right there. Air bubble right here. So I have to pop it on the other side. It's probably the glue. But uh, yeah, so this one's much better shape than the other one was. I, that's for sure. I don't think I did the unboxing for that one. Okay. So let me zoom you back out and we'll go through some, see what the drills look like. Ooh. Some strong, strong glue. This one came with two bags. A little drink. Yeah, because when I was tracking this one also, it did stay, it did, it was here in the U.S. for quite a long time. Um, I think they just quarantined it. Because it did sit for almost a month here in California, somewhere up north. But I'm not going to go through every single color because there is quite, um, quite a few. Um, how many colors did I say it was? I didn't say. Okay, let me count them real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm only at 30. Forty-five colors. There's like I said, I'll put the picture, a better picture in the video. Forty-five colors. So our dominant color right there is 310. It's 10,000 drills. You get your symbol, you get your DMC number, you get the quantity, and then how many bags they gave you. More than likely, these are bags of 200. So here on the first one, they gave me four bags. If they're 200, that's 800. Now I need 704. They do give you extra. So that looks like the most dominant drill is 10, oh, I got 10,000, which is the black. So I'll just spread them out a little bit, see what kind of colors we have. We got blues, we got grays, we got browns, we got caramel, we got tan, we got grays, we got pink, we got burgundy, we got 666, orange, it's probably 939s right here. Nope, it's 8 something, 823. We got the burgundy colors, a blue color, kind of grayish blue. There's another burgundy color. Dark brown, purple, like a bluish gray, Some more reds, greens. And we'll go through the inventories to see, make sure they all all here. 
off camera. Three tens. Okay, you all. That's all three ten. Look at those three tens. Some light purple, gray purple. Got some light green. Gray green. Some more reds. Some more purples. Dark purple. Pinks. Ocean blue, a couple different ones. Yeah. So, you know, they wouldn't have all this mess if they could just put, put them in a bag of thousand. That would cut off so much clutter, so much weight. Not maybe weight, but so much uh, clutter with all these, because when it's like this, it takes you forever to kit these out, because you gotta cut every single one of these bags. I cut them, I group them, like I fold them in groups two or three, and I'll, I'll cut the top, and I'll pour three of them in at once, depending on what I'm using to uh, for my containers. It just takes it so long to kit up when it's like this. Bag them in f groups of 500, 1,000, much better less chance of uh miscounting you know but anyways enough bitching i hope everybody got some good information um i know in the past um these haven't come like this before the drills may yes but not the can the condition of the canvases um I know that from the last company, they did say that their size have been restricted. But on an 80 by 60 canvas, all you had to do is roll it this way. It's 60 centimeters. Look. It fits. Okay, so that's it for this unboxing, and we'll see you on the next one.